Hey, what up, everyone? Michael B. Petty here. Um, Amberlynn came out with another reaction. Apparently, Becky's getting a new haircut. I really hope it's something similar to this because I'm really rocking with this right now and I really enjoy the cut. I enjoy the color. It looks really fresh, really clean, really modern. So I'm hoping it's something very similar to this, but I guess we're just gonna have to watch and find out. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the react. Hey guys. So hey guys. welcome to the vlog. So I'm getting a really late start. Like it's like literally getting dark outside. But <laughs> she probably just woke up. I'm not that surprised at the slightest. This is very typical of Amberlynn Reed. But Becky she and looks I just like she went just woke up to the store because she's been craving my chili. She loves my chili <laughs> that, so much. No one. No, that's a bold faced lie. It's more so like a chili soup. <laughs> and everyone who's she's gonna rock it, that chili it. lie to the wheels I fall love off. It. It's so good. So it's doing its thing right now. I haven't made it in probably a year, so I hope it turns out really good. It smells great, so I'm, that's what we're up to. We're just going to have like a movie night, chilly night, cozy night. Every other night of your life. Um, I will say this. I am kind of proud of the fact that she's standing up and cooking, so we have that going for us, which is really nice to see um hopefully she can keep up with that because i think that will greatly benefit her in the long run if she can stand up and do these tasks that she's used to doing while sitting down okay you guys so my chili Ugh. soup is completed Ew. oh my god i'm so excited for this no hey guys so it is hey guys the next day so Update on the chili. The bra's still there. Becky loved it. She rated it out oh, of 10. Oh, I got it. Becky loved it. Which is really high because she rates other people's chili, like, super low. I'm talking like I'm sure. Below five. So, I'm just... There is... I, I don't believe that for one second. You are paying her off to m say that she likes her chili. I bet if she says she doesn't like your chili, you throw the biggest fit known to man. Uh, it makes me feel good that she likes my chili. I want to go, like, in a chili cook-off and see, like... Oh, please. What think of my chili. Please make that a reality. I would so love Becky this. So, actually had an eye doctor appointment. Amber's great chili cook-off. I would love that. I would love that thoroughly please can we make this happen i'll throw down i'll enter what's the prize what's the entry fee i'm down what's the grand prize do we win a bra like i want to know so she's actually there doing that um eric and ricky actually drove her and i wanted to stay home must be nice must be nice to have friends and stuff that'll go out and help you but like god forbid your girlfriend does home because the den needs to be swept yeah so right. I'm do that. Oh, here Sleeping we go. Are we gonna get a? Are we gonna get a montage? I feel like if I start building that muscle again, yes, then true. That's a good thing. Yeah, because one hundred percent. You know, sweeping actually hurts a lot of people's backs, and my. I mean, yes and no. Um, depends on I guess on how much sweeping you are doing, but let's not pretend that like your fatigue that you are feeling has any kind of relation to what a normal person's fatigue is from sweeping. I'm sure you go 10 seconds and your back hurts while most people can go like 20 minutes before they start feeling the like the ache of the back. But the truth is you're 28 years old. Like you should be able to like do a lot of things and not have to worry about your body falling apart, but you're 600 pounds. So, but I mean, kudos to you for getting up there and actually doing it. If that's what you say is gonna happen, I wonder if we'll see, but you never know. Stomach is really heavy, so that definitely does not help at all. But I feel like if you do things more, then you can build that muscle, and it'll be great. I do. Are we getting? Is this weight loss guru? Is this weight loss Lynn we're getting again? Like it? I, she she seems to click into these like modes or these personalities um, every now and then, and it's pretty clear that she's in that whole weight loss thing again. So I guess we'll have to wait and see. We have the microwave running right now, so if you hear that, that's what that is. So since today's Saturday, this Saturday is gonna be like a low-key Saturday, actually. I hate when she like classifies like her low-key, like every day is a low-key day for you, if that's what you wanna call it. I mean, I she's, she's replacing low key with lazy or lazy with low key i have a feeling and no we're not talking about marvel 
Um, I have a feeling she's doing that because she doesn't want to be, she doesn't want to classify herself as lazy. But the truth is that like every day is a lazy day. Like you didn't wake up until what, like five o'clock the day before and went to the store to get chili supplies. Like there's not many people on this planet that have a luxury like that to like be able to wake up late into the afternoon and not have to do anything. Like, so every day is a lazy day for you. I bought a ton of these like games on Eric's PS4 and he bought a few as well. So we played some of it last night. We had a lot of fun. So I think today we're going to be doing that. So uh, I've gotten a, the question, am I going to dress up for Halloween quite a few times? And I'm pretty sure I am. I did order a costume oh God. online, so I'm not sure if it's going to fit. Yeah. I really hope it does because I do want to. You have so many clothes at home, though, that like I feel like you could figure out some kind of way to like make that into a costume of some kind. Like you could come out with some clever way of like, you know, really coming with a more out of the box concept and not some like traditional vampire, like the world's biggest little vampire. Dude, I love that. I love that costume where she was in that little cape and she had the fangs in and everything. It reminded me of that movie, The Little Vampire, but like, Obviously not because he was like a little kid, but you know what I mean? Like it, it gave me those kind of vibes. Dress up this year because I might be having like a little Halloween get together. It's not gonna be like a party per se. It's gonna be just like a Halloween, let's hang out and have fun type of situation. Oh God. So yeah, I'm just really hoping that it fits and it should be coming in the mail. I mean, of things that I could do on Halloween, going to Amber Lynn's house would probably rank at the very bottom. Like, I don't think, like, uh, there, I'd rather go to the library. I'd rather go and get a filling. You know what I'm saying? Like, then go and hang out at Amber Lynn's house. Like, I feel like it would be so boring and just, it'd be like a 10 year old's party. Soon, and if it doesn't fit, then at least I'll have a little bit of time to get something else. So I got my glitter B box, oh God. which is Trisha More Paytas's Trisha shit. subscription box. So I wanted to show you guys what I got in it. I already opened it. I thought this picture was super cute. Picture. So this is just a thing that shows everything. People really buying this still? So we got some. Could have gone to the 99 cent store and got those. Pies. Actually never used these before but i heard they're actually really good for your hair and the amount of shit in that box it's up. probably so like ones, so wasteful ones and flamingo all ones. that these confetti so shit cute. we got a pink nail and bone nail polish like Amberlin which paints i want nails. to use very very soon i know it doesn't look like it but i really want to start getting into painting my nails more God, she says that about so everything. Got like, she wants to get into losing weight. How about you get into that for a minute there? How about you, instead of focusing on dumb shit like that, how about you get into, like, saving your life? How about that one? Uh, a clear glitter lip gloss by Glitter B, And now I got kind of... It kind of looks like a maroon, a light maroon color. She does the shittiest oh job with showing this called. off. But, you're like, say you're a nurse, you put your little... A lanyard? nurse badge thingy on it or whatever <laughs> um that's what i had to do when i was a pca worker but look a how lanyard. cute this is there's like little diamonds on the inside of this i think this, this is, is all so shit you could get at the 99 I wish I had a reason store. to wear it but i just like don't and as you guys know i am getting rid of all my perfume and i'm trying to start a new that batch. looks like urine so this is that has the color of urine Amor royal Oh, look, you see my face. Hi. So I'm going to be honest. When I first smelled this, I was like, oh, my God, this is so gross. It kind of smelled like nail gross. polish. But I want to say 10 seconds later, and it smelled so freaking good. Smelt. I was like, okay, I'm keeping She's this. Smelting eggs. But look how cute the bottle is and the diamonds up here. You think that's cute? I love it. Okay. More power glitter. to you. It seems like we get glitter every single time. Right, first because it's a box of junk. Blue. It's literally a Second, box of junk. I mean, first box was blue second box was pink and now we have black two purples and orange which is people be cute. really I are just, people really know. out here buying these trisha paytas boxes like that's 
garbage. Like, there's nothing in there that's, like, even at all remotely, like, nice or interesting. I mean, the whole point of that is to feel somewhat luxe about what you're getting. Like, all of that looked like junk or secondhand stuff. It looked like shit that, like, no one could get to anyone to buy. And it's just, like, hand-me-down shit to give. They gave to Trisha and she, like, stuffed into boxes herself and just was like, here you go. When I would actually wear that, you know? So this is supposed to be a makeup eraser. All you do is get it wet with warm water and it takes off your makeup. A towel. Makeup. It's a it's towel. Reusable. It's a towel. Look, you guys, this fact, like, literally shook me. Where was it? This Just right can't here. can't read. 1.3 billion wipes are used daily. And one million of, the, one million of them are you, you used, probably. Down. That literally shocked me. So... I'm excited to try this. Wow, um, a towel. I'm so happy about, for you. We should stop it's using a fucking plastic towel. straws. I mean, this fact right here made me Amberlynn, so like, you literally buy bottled water to like pour into fucking mason jars at home. You aren't going to Are you really going to sit on here and like be shocked at the amount of waste that happens in this world? You are probably a good 5% of the world's entire waste. I wouldn't even be surprised at this point. The amount of boxes and like the amount of waste that like all your ipsy bags cost and all, you know what i'm saying like the amount of shit you get delivered to your house on the daily probably the amount of going driving two and a half hours to go to olive garden there and back like you don't like and you're gonna sit here and be like oh my god there's so much waste in the world like come on girl we should also stop using makeup wipes because wow uh, dude, there is a show on Netflix called Prank Encounters. It's where these people are pranked, but they're like scary pranks. You guys need to. Oh watch my god! This. <laughs> it's actually really it's like there's this show on Netflix called Prank Encounters where people are pranked. Wow! Oh my god! You really went there. You really broke it down for us, Amber. I don't know if I would have ever figured out what that show was about if it, we you weren't here to explain it to us. Really good. Hey guys, so it's actually been a few days since I last vlogged. Have you showered? Hello. Look at so, her hair. I got two hours of sleep, so I'm living my best life. When she forgets Not to really. put that filter on her videos, you can Eric really see the knuckles. Today. Eric's was first. We have a Rebecca over here. Look at herself in a ponytail. She wants to get her hair cut today. I would probably so, too. Will she? Will she not? I don't know. So I did get my costume today. It's not actually a costume. It's like sold as just like a regular everyday attire. But I can't see myself actually wearing this on a normal basis. I did try it on and it is a little... Because there's buttons down the front of it. And it's kind of like busting at the seams around my breastesis. If, so, girl is that what we're like calling those bad. now i've seen people go in public with way worse you know it's just halloween we'll be okay we're gonna make it work it's oh no i am not excited for this being something like totally awesome but this halloween vlog is gonna be lit be fresh but yeah so i just wanted to give you guys an update on that i need to start vlogging more i'm just like i don't know I've just been like having a pretty good last few days, but it's like- You know what's like, crazy is that last week I reacted to her older video and where the fuck have her eyebrows go? Like, does she have that like stress alopecia where you like sit there and pick at like your eyebrows and shit? Because like her eyebrows are gone. Like they're not there anymore. And like, I know she had thin eyebrows to begin with, but like they're just gone now. They're not there. And her breath looks like it smells bad. I don't know why I needed to add that in. I don't- think to vlog so i do apologize for that all right y'all becky looks miserable get her hair done so this is before they move so slow i'm sad look at this she has like healthy beautiful hair Are yeah because you... she showers daily and takes care of it shocker do you want to do this do you know how hard it is to take care of Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> How do you feel about it? Um, um, she looks like a handsome brother, so. Right now? Yes. Yeah, you know. I mean, that's what a gay is for, to, like, give you the truth. I mean, you know, I can't tell you how many times a lot of my girlfriends go to me like, okay, I need the brutal, honest truth. And it's like, all right, here you go. You know, that's just how it is sometimes. Handsome brother, the mob. 
Mm-hmm. It, oh it is very mbop. I think it's so beautiful, but I mean, you'll look good either way. Don't want to get Show caught. Show them the picture you're aiming for. So then we can do a little comparison. Is it the man? Oh, girl. So this is what she wants. Not the color or anything. No. Even though you look really good with the color Ooh. as well. But that's the hairstyle. So we're going to go in and check it out. Come through, Michelle Williams. Yes. Oh, my God. Why men great till they gotta be great? So, what do you think? I love it. Do a little twirl. I like it. It's... <laughs> She's a brand new woman. I don't really know do how similar it was to the picture, but... I mean, I'm not talking about the color. It seems like Michelle Williams was a little bit shorter on the sides and it was longer here and this, the bang came more forward. It was very Miley Cyrus. That picture is very Miley Cyrus era, you know, fucking bangers, bangers, you know, that era. Um, but, you know, the stylist did a job and the job was done. So we have that going for us. Um... I do think that short hair suits Becky a lot more. I think it frames her face a little bit better. It gives her hit, her her face more dimension. I'm sitting here like I know what the fuck I'm talking about when it comes to hair. You do look like you love it for sure. Yeah, I do like it. It's She's it definitely lit up. You think so? Yeah. It is very similar to that. Yeah. Think I do think it's better too. Zero through ten, how much do you like it? Wow. Apparently, Becky be throwing those nine ratings around a lot more often than Amber let on earlier. Because I don't want to give it that extra one, you know, because nothing's perfect, you know what I'm saying? Besides you. Oh. At a tattoo oh God, and body piercing place. Just Who's to... getting a tattoo? <laughs> no, you're not. I'm getting a tattoo. Oh, okay. <laughs> let Becky just live to, her like, life. Look at pricing and, like, Eric wanted to come here, so we're going to check it out. Oh my god, could you imagine if Amber got a like mom that. tattoo? I would die. I wonder if they could even tattoo Amber. Okay. So Ooh, oh, oh my god, how how long are we? We're 10 minutes in. Oh my god, we're getting five whole minutes of comment of the day. This is going to be good. This is going to be real good. Comment of the day. The last video I uploaded was living my best life. It was a very, <laughs> very fun day. Sure. And a fun video. We have... 3,800 comments. I mean, so let that load to Amber Lynn, going to a minute. pizza buffet would okay. be her best life. Anything for Destiny gift coin. <laughs> so sure. in this video, it built up. I, I can't. Whose comment is... I can't with these usernames, yo. I went for myself. Y'all out of line for that. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. I honestly adore arcades are super fun to me and also you adore Gracie, pizza buffets we wanted to you know choose something to do for her had nothing to do with destiny but okay the whole trip had everything to do with destiny it was about you winning her love and affection by spoiling her niece that's what that whole trip was about that's what this whole th that whole weekend was about and you even spoiled her girlfriend which is even more sad that's a reply to someone that's also a reply to someone. I'm just going to say, I had some people tell me, why don't you just edit that part out? Yeah. I don't really want to edit anything. So Because <laughs> you're lazy. People don't think that I am purposely choosing certain comments. You edited, or are you, am I fucking losing my mind right now? Did I just stroke out? She edited her loading all the clips. So like. What would there be any difference in you jump cutting every now and then so we don't have to sit here and listen to you fumble and touch your screen? Like, so I try not to edit yeah, this part. Yeah, dude. I never fall. Maybe it's because you rarely move. Ooh, I have been moving true so much. So, so much. That's not true because so you can literally I have fall been moving even so if much. you move like once a day. And if anything. <laughs> and she's like, and I would know because I move once a day. <laughs> like, might can't. be more susceptible. Susceptible? Susceptible. My God. <laughs> to fall because that you're not word. used to moving, you know. I saw the other day on Twitter that Cheesecake Factory oh. <laughs> are discontinuing orange chicken as they are revamping their menu. 
She's going to be pining for you, dude. I can't. I don't know for you. I don't know who that's oh, talking shit. about. But if they do um, revamp their menu and there's no orange chicken, that's totally fine. And that's so cool. People think She's like seething underneath. She's like, that's going to be okay. And I'm okay with that. <laughs> I'm like, oh my God, so obsessed with it. I have it like once a week. Girl, you, you drive three hours nonstop there and back. Leave the ER, swoop up in the Hyundai, down to the Lexington to get you some orange chicken. Let's not pretend that you won't go to extreme measures for this orange chicken. There is documented proof of you going above and beyond for this orange chicken. I hope to one day find a man dedicated enough to me like you are dedicated dedicated to Cheesecake Factory Orange Chicken. Real talk. I'm not, I'm putting that into the universe right now, okay? So if you, <laughs> I'm just saying, okay? You guys, I probably have it two, maybe three times a year. That's a lie. <laughs> it's just a really good meal at a really good restaurant. And yeah, so. Girl, you had orange chicken at in Lexington at Pride last year th four times in two days. So, bye don't even miss me with this sis and if it is true they're gonna be a lot a lot of sad people no there's not it's actually very popular no one cares She's yeah so popular that's why they're taking it off the menu <laughs> like girl are you delusional yeah living in a house with her girlfriend's ex-girlfriend and her girlfriend she probably is being held hostage Wait, what? She's li <laughs> so She's talking about Destiny and Dana being at your house all the fucking time and how Becky is probably forced to be there against her will. Is it really that hard for you to connect these dots? Like, really? Sometimes I have to reread these. I'm, I'm like, what is happening? Yeah, because you're She's dumb. She's living in a house <laughs> with her girlfriend's ex-girlfriend and her girlfriend. She is probably being held hostage. Okay. She's talking about After Becky. This second time, I think she. It took you that long Be to get there. It took you that long to get. She's gonna break it down for us. Becky, I think yes. her girlfriend's ex. You. Wait. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> you're just, a literal I moron. Some things that Destiny and Dana live with us. Destiny and Dana do not live with us. On the weekends, so. you said they do. Um, that's a reply to someone. That's a reply to someone. Also, may I remind you that Destiny cheated on Amber Lynn. Oh, I'm so glad I got this question. Or this comment. So glad. And that so happy. time with Destiny, Ale got up to 500 pounds because they ate junk food daily. If anything, Destiny brings out the worst in her. Yup. So, I mean, I real talk, I don't think it takes much to bring the worst out of Amber Lynn. It takes... A bag of Doritos. You know, it doesn't take... Like, Amberlynn is a full function... Well, I'm going to retract that statement. Amberlynn gets what she wants when she wants. I don't think it matters who she's with. She'll manipulate and convince anyone to do her bidding. Any weak people, I would imagine. I'd imagine people who are pretty strong in their convictions probably don't bend, don't bend to her will very much. And that's why those people don't seem to stick around. I know a lot of people like talked about, where's Sharla? Where's Martha? Where's this? Where's that? And I think what happens is I think these people go on and live their lives and they realize that like doing what Amberlynn wants to do all the time isn't fucking fun. It's not fun for anyone. And so they kick rocks. I do want to say right here, Destiny did not cheat on me. This is you literally said in a video that she cheated on you. Like, I'm, I'm being deluded right now. Like, does she not remember her? It's sad that I remember her life better than she remembers her own life. Something that I will forever say. You said she cheated on you. Forever true. She did not cheat on me. If she did, trust me, her and I would not be friends. I Girl. do not stay friends with cheaters i I'm wish we could see happen. her face when Never she's like happen. telling these lies because i feel like it would be a really good one, i feel one like that's maybe why she doesn't you can do so do to someone that so, that's one of the worst things not like falsely accusing someone of rape or like claiming that people are ableist and editing their videos to make them sound like they are like there's a lot worse things that someone could do than cheating on you and you done it oh so, um, losing someone's cat on purpose and then like try so that you can get your own cat like that was pretty fucked up um, and then when i was with destiny i got up to 500 pounds true and i ate junk food daily yes true true um i feel like 
no matter who I was with though, I feel like it was going to happen. And I made a whole video about this, like why it happened. And long story short, it's literally because it was the first time. Girl, I know for a fact there's a video of you free. talking about her seeing how money, your and Dana's relationships job, overlapped. And I could eat and do what I want. And I chose to eat very, very bad things. And you still do. So basically, y'all live in a town full of racists and homophobes that stuck, stuck in the, in the 1930s. 1930s. Huh? I, I, I what? She's going to play stupid um, now. Several towns in the USA that have these type of people there. Um, I don't really want to surround <laughs> in myself the USA. with those types of people. So Me neither, sis. So this is the last one. Amber, can you walk to the tree again? Maybe do it three times a day for one week, then bring it up to four the next week, and so on. Yes, I can definitely do that again, and I can vlog it if you want me no, to. No, we don't need to see it. <laughs> Two, it's actually getting really cold outside. So oh, maybe of course. The much. weather. <laughs> I don't sweat anyways as much anyhow. That's weird. I but, don't uh, understand how she doesn't sweat. Hot. That's fucking weird. <laughs> so it would actually probably feel good. But, um... Yeah, that actually sounds like a really good idea. So thank you for That sounds like a that. really good idea that I won't take. So today has actually been a really busy day. I you, I can't, dude. I Could you imagine, like, sometimes when she says this, I'm just like, could she, I would love for her to know what it's like to, like, work a full-time job and then come home and take care of a house. Like, I could, she would probably be blown away. Like, if we, if dude, you know what should happen? She should wife swap. Bring back wife swap and let's have Amber Lynn trade places with a woman, a working woman, and see how she does. Because I have a feeling she has no idea how the real world works. I'm going to end this video. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. That video was pretty boring, I would say. I don't know, there was a lot in it, but it was just like, I do think Becky's hair looks a lot better. Um, I think she could have kept long hair and just got it trimmed and framed her face a little bit better and it would have looked pretty nice on her. I don't know why she was so against the having the long hair, but I do get it. I do understand short hair is easier to deal with. <laughs> um, I don't even let my hair grow a whole inch. Like I'm like, once it gets starting, I'm like, let's get rid of it. But I do think she does look pretty good without short hair. I'm glad Amberlynn at least complimented her and didn't tell her she looked fat like she did last time because that was fucking brutal. That was really brutal when they were in Lexington and she said that I was like, holy crap. Yeah, I mean, I I'm just so over her like acting like her ge getting in the car and going somewhere for the day is like, oh my God, we did so much. We ran one errand like it's just it's so old and so done and it's just like can we just fucking like not pretend that you lead these like extremely busy fast-paced productive lives because that's not what's ha that isn't what's happening at that house the only person that actually does anything in that house is ricky he's the only one that goes to work five days a week for eight hours a day and then comes home and mows the lawn he's like their house elf i feel like <laughs> anyway that's pretty much all i got to say about that um, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, toodles.